Under Washington law, an injured worker may receive either permanent partial disability benefits or permanent total disability benefits under the same LNI claim, but never both. So if the injured worker has received prior PPD awards under a different claim, those benefits need not be repaid. But if prior PPD benefits were ever paid under the current claim, those must be repaid as a condition of receiving an industrial injury pension. How can an injured worker repay prior PPD benefits? This can be done using one of multiple repayment methods, often at the injured worker's election. The worker will automatically have their prior PPD benefits subtracted from ongoing receipts if they've won their pension through long-lasting litigation with sufficient back due benefits awarded. But what if that's not the case because the pension came without litigation? Obviously, the worker can simply write a repayment check to the Department of Labor and Industries or to the self-insured employer if they have the finances to do so. However, most disabled injured workers do not. So if the worker cannot repay the benefits immediately, those can be subtracted from ongoing benefits for a period of months until full repayment is made, or the entire pension benefit can also be actuarially reduced all at once so that a slightly lower monthly benefit will be paid for the rest of the injured worker's life. In one extremely unusual case, an injured worker's prior attorney stole their prior PPD benefits. Later, when I helped the injured worker to obtain a claim reopening, followed by a new award of a pension, the worker was still required to pay back the PPD benefits his prior attorney stole. Nevertheless, in that case, the Bar Association agreed to pay my client out of the Bar's Client Protection Trust Fund much of the amount my client had lost because he'd previously had an unethical attorney. This episode illustrates both that prior PPD benefits will always have to be repaid if they were received in the same claim as an industrial injury pension, and also that people with serious work-related disabilities should be represented only by the most competent and ethical counsel. Certainly, if you are hoping to receive an industrial injury pension, please contact the attorneys of Washington Law Center today.